Hello, this is Annie at Wilson Hall at the Meadowbrook Theater Art Gallery. And this is the Studio Art Senior Thesis Exhibition Aggregate. There's a list of all the people. And here's the opening piece. Looks cool, right? It's by Joanne Dietz. Fragment itself. And here's this piece. It's um a single channel video. Here's the description. By Amanda I don't know how to say her name. It's a cool name. <laughs> oh. Here's this one. Fascinating, right? It's I'm not exactly sure what to call it. It's kind of abstract to me, but then looks kind of like bodies, sort of. I'm not too sure what to make of it. And I, I like how it's monochrome and it's, it's on six panels, which is really interesting. And it's by... Laura Egan. It's called the Battle of Ascalon. And here's this uh, photography piece. The chair and the um, interactive uh, something, video of some sort, supplement is for us to touch and read. Um, it's like this compiling, photo compilement of buildings in Detroit. I actually think I've been here maybe, you know, this, this one looks familiar. It's by Alex Hancock, yep. Infiltrating Detroit. And this photography um, compilement of leaves with yarn and string, you know, and in sewed inside them is a real interesting one. I'm not too sure what it means. There's this poem based off it, Recondition by Missy Hansen. And here's this one. It's real interesting. It's by Kim Heckman talking about, you know, the, the different people. We constantly view people on a first encounter basis, and the real person is often never revealed. It's a really interesting concept. Here's another one by Joanne Diet. Fragmented Self Selective Memory, again. Jeffrey Bovey, Polymorphous. This one's by Jenna Kemp. When you think of reality, what comes to mind? It, you know, what I see, it's, it's like the history of the world, sort of, and, you know, all these cultures from all over the globe. It's, you know, transitioning from one piece to another in a, an artistic way. I really like it, especially how it's in the corner of the room there. Um, oh, over here. Here is more of Joanne Diet's, you know, found Cerberus remnants residuum. Isn't that one cool? I feel like, you know, that would be something that I would do as well. It, it looks like, you know, there's a lot of emotion in this piece. You know, you could see, like, three different sides of her. Like, like the artist is saying that there's three different selves of her trying to come out. Here's a really interesting one. I, I feel like that maybe 
the artist is saying that, that she's embracing a past self, you know, a past truth that, you know, she's realized, or maybe this is her herself connecting with her artistic muse, something like that. I like, I like the faded blue colors. And this one, I'm not exactly sure what she's saying, you know, I feel like it's sort of dream reality state, looking at, at oneself and uh, wondering about many philosophical things. And here's this artist, Thomas McCabe. He's really good. I don't know what to make of his things. Look at that. Very... reminds me of a microchip. I like the colors. This one's like a... Uh, what do you call that? What do you scan in the store, sort of? Um, and then this one's really cool. I like it. It's it's like you, you, you took... It's like you got inspiration from... Have you ever heard of the watercolor technique of... First, first you put the color down, you know, make it real wet, and you, you take a, a piece of... Um, plastic wrap, and then you leave it there, and then when when it comes off, it looks just like this, something like that. It's real cool, and this piece reminds me of like the mountains, you know, from from when you're looking at it from um, a helicopter or something like that. And then this one's really cool. It looks like he layered it with um, lots of well, different layers of paint, but then when you look closer, it's not like that at all. You know, he just made it look like that. This one's real fascinating because of that. And then over here, here's another one of Missy Hansen's leaves. I don't know, it looks like the same thing to me. And this one's a real cool one. It's like this house that's made up of, you know, images of of building materials and words, and you know, it gives you this feeling of of a house isn't just more than its building materials, but it's also made up of the memories that were made in that house. You know, it's it's a really interesting concept. I like it by Alexandra Bosch, What Remains. And this is, these are really cool. It's like glass, glass and sculpture portraits. You know, really interesting concept. It's by Jennifer Palombit. This one's a cool one. It uses pebbles. I like this one. It like you get this feeling that the person being portrayed in this sort of portrait is like afraid of what's around her, afraid to show herself to come out. And this person, you could just feel his pain. And then this one shows a lot of feeling. All, all, all of these ones show a lot of feeling. I feel like the nails in this one, you know, represents this person's pain. And this one's just a burst of color that can mean so many things. I really like this artist's work. Um, one's Sarah Prange. She t took photos of all the different angles of a, a art classroom, a high school art classroom. And these ones.
were by Cindy Parsons. I really like this one. It looks like something that I would like to do, you know, with all of these colors that look like they're not controlled, but they are. It's real fascinating. And Kelsey Schwab, guess who? It's this one. And it's really cool because it's interactive. Um, we're allowed to touch these. And, you know, if you notice, it looks a lot like the Guess Who board game. And I like this mirror. You could see yourself. And, you know, it, it kind of brings the viewer into the, the piece of art, which is... Well, real interesting. I don't want to break it. I actually got to meet the artist. It was really cool. Um, here's this one. It's... I think it's Brenna Larson, that one. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, and Ariane Makatula. It's this one. This this one. It's real interesting because of the the square box. I find the square box the most interesting. And the description says that she used acrylic in this. I wonder how she did that. Like, it doesn't look like. She, you know, they're, she painted on these bottles with a brush. I wonder how she did that. I'm not too sure what to make of it. It's like there's the, the content of the bottles is slowly fading away, and, and maybe that's how she feels. And maybe the cube is how she feels, how, how she's put into a box her entire life. I don't know, something like that. And look at this one. It's really sweet. Does that look like a rabbit or a dinosaur or some sort of creature? Let's see, it's by Danielle Mazer. Yeah. I could never do something like this. This is just pure awesomeness. And this one's real interesting. It it reminds me of a, an exhibit at a science museum. Not really anything that you'd find, you know, in an art museum. It's really interesting concepts. Um, there's the artist took four people and took the things that they do in in their their lives and, you know made them these different activities into representative shapes and then took their their silhouette and then made the shapes into the silhouette of that person. It's it's a really interesting concept. And um wait. What's this say? Prevail. Prevail. Right. Um, who's the spy? Like, no, I'm not too sure. Do you remember? Right here. Oh, it's Kelsey by Dosen. Kelsey Dosen, and it's called Prevail. And what I I kind of get from this piece is that that um, you know, maybe she, maybe the artist has felt that her her life has felt you know really broken. Her her image has been, you know, reshaped and reformed over and over again, you know, which has caused her to learn to prevail. Something like that, you know, that's what I kind of get from it. And, yep, that's, wait, oh, there's this one too. Um, this is a blue dragon. It's really sweet. It's, it's, the, the background is, gray ac acrylic paint 
and you know it, it doesn't look it looks like a painting doesn't it but as you get closer you could see that it's not paint but cut pieces of cloth isn't that a sweet idea it's by Kelly O'Hara dragon and that looks like everything